Today we're going to talk about the Mauryan and the Gupta Empire. Let's go ahead and read the side. With our fun elephant. So, the Mauryan Empire and the Gupta Dynasty. Now, an empire is going to be territories or land that aren't necessarily right next to each other, but they are all controlled by one person. A dynasty is when you start to pass down that power through family. So it's basically a monarchy. Around 322 BCE, Chandragupta Maurya founded the Mauryan Empire, overthrowing kingdoms along the Ganges River and extending his power over most of northern and central India. Now, if you remember from our Harappa and Mohandaro, and also our vocab, it is believed that one possibility is that the Aryans took over. So Chandragupta Maurya overthrew the Aryan kingdoms and eventually started his own empire. His armies were powerful, and he had a herd of 9,000 war elephants. Now, top speed for an elephant is around 20, I think it's a little bit over 20 miles per hour. and I would be scared out of my mind if I saw an elephant wearing battle armor running at me carrying people with weapons. I don't know about you, but that's me. Chandragupta governed by an absolute rule. So he's a dictator. Now, I want you to look real quick at how much he took over. Now, anything that is yellow is something that he controlled completely. Now you're going to notice over here and over here there are some like greener. That is why it is an empire. Um, and this is the dynasty and then tributaries is because he did not have complete control. They paid for his protection, but he did not control them in, in total. Whoops. So which is complete power over his people, absolute rule. He constantly feared for his life. He made servants taste his food to test for poison, and he never slept in the same bed two nights in a row. Now, we're gonna talk about his son, Ahsoka. Now, I wanna live under Ahsoka. Ahsoka is the bomb.com because Chandragupta's grandson, Ahsoka, was another powerful leader. Notice we don't mention Chandragupta's son or Ahsoka's dad. He didn't really do anything. He converted to Buddhism after waging a violent war in Kalinga and seeing the devastation it had caused. He spread Buddhism throughout the empire, built hospitals, and practiced religious tolerance, which is the idea of accepting other religions and not making people be one religion. After Ahsoka's death, the Maurya Empire weakened and was plagued by foreign invasions until 320 CE, when the Gupta dynasty took over. The people enjoyed a golden age of Indian culture. So some things they experienced, techniques for printing on cloth were devised. Schools of philosophy, philosophy so the first schools were developed. Kalidasa, one of the first great, or one of the great Indian poets, wrote a popular Sanskrit poem, The Cloud Messenger. Hindu and Buddhist temples and shrines were built. The decimal system and the concept of zero were invented. This golden age of culture and trade lasted until the Huns, peep Mulan, invaded in the late 5th century CE and fractured China. Northern India would remain splintered for hundreds of years. So one of the things I want to quickly look at and what our News LA article is going to be about is why do you think Ahsoka switched to Buddhism? So you are going to read the News LA article um, and it is about Ahsoka's leadership and his con um, conversion to Buddhism. And I want to really quickly, before you go ahead and do that, I want you to look in our notebook on Buddhism. 
The idea it is on the back thing. I'm going to zoom in on it. He decided, the founder, to abandon his riches to seek the meaning of life and the cure for human suffering. So the entire idea is a cure for human suffering. And Buddhists believed in the Four Noble Truths that teach the feelings of suffering in our lives will end when we stop trying to be selfish, overcome material objects, and see others equal and part of ourselves. So I want you to think why a man who has just been in such a horrendous war where he saw so many people die, why do you think Buddhism and Buddhist beliefs appealed to him? Go ahead and write a race response. For those who have struggle, are struggling to start, good way to start is if the question is what about buddhism may have appealed to ahsoka buddhism may have appealed to ahsoka because and then go ahead and finish it off now I don't believe this link works. However, if you go to your news ELA assignment list, it works But Oh, yes, it mine does, if I remember correctly. My link works to Ahsoka Buddhism. Yours does not. So when you click on your link, because Miss J's, while being perfect, is also imperfect. It's a conundrum. It's crazy. I know. You have to go to your assignments. And you have to find the one listed Ahsoka Buddhism. Ahsoka and Buddhism. Hopefully that helped and I'll see you later.